Hello and welcome to the Dragalia Lost portion of the Mega News Roundup. I'm TGP, a resident Dragalia Lost player. During today's reset over Dragalia Lost, a new trailer has dropped. 30 seconds of a small glimpse of what is to come in Mega Man Chaos Protocol. The trailer begins with an all too familiar rising tower. Except that's no tower, that's Yudin's Halo. Along with some static as it rises, you get a very small glimpse of both Helmetless Mega and Yudin before the static completely takes over and unveils that Mega Man is indeed coming soon to Dragalia Lost. I should also point out that both the opening theme and the Mega Man 2 title theme are indeed new compositions. Great compositions, if I may add. We then see the blue bomber in action, starting with the iconic teleporting in a stage, shooting some lemons, sliding, and shooting a charge shot. We also see Mega Man hurling a metal blade and activating a leaf shield while donning its respective colors while using each one. Finally, we see Mega shapeshift into a dragon, but not really. He instead hops into his canine sidekick and shoots an even bigger charge shot. We're then shown Mega Man alongside with Rush in front of the iconic tower he stood during the Mega Man 2 opening. The eight robot masters partially silhouetted above the tower, and right above them is Wily's fortress. Finally, it ends with the logos from each game and the time frame of the entire event. The event begins on November 28, 2019 at 10pm Pacific Time and ends on December 15, 2019 at 9.59pm Pacific Time. Not much is shown off from the trailer itself, but it's enough to get the adrenaline pump. However, this trailer was not the only thing that dropped. Alongside with the trailer, there's a website that also has information about the crossover. Much more new info, in fact. The first thing we see is this very magnificent art with both the Blue Bomber and the Traitor's Prince himself fighting side by side. Scrolling down a bit, we get to see a tiny summary of how this event will play with a short description. Dr. Wily has seized control of the five Great Worms, joined forces with Mega Man to save the world of the Dragalia Lost game. We see behind Mega Man each of the five Great Worms with glowing red woke eyes. Scrolling down a bit, we get to see his animations. I should remind you that Mega Man will be considered a wand character. The Mega Buster seems to be his standard attack, the charge shot will be his force strike. Instead of rolling around like everyone else, he will be sliding instead. Finally, we get to see what his death animation will look like, but let's just hope you don't get to see that too often. Going back for the trailer for a bit, I'm going to make some assumptions here. Metal Blade will be his skill 1, and Leaf Shield will be his skill 2. As for his dragon form, the only thing I can assume is that the charge shot will be his dragon skill. I'm sure we are to find out more as time goes on. Now this is where things get really juicy as there is so much information with just these four pictures alone. The first picture depicts a very recognizable stage select with Mega Man in the middle and the five great worms surrounding the top half. In case you can't see the name starting from the top left, going from the right and then to the middle row, we have Brunhilde, Midgar Sormer, Zodiark, Mercury, and Jupiter. These are the five great worms that Mega Man will be facing. The last row consists of three icons. If we zoom in a little bit, the first two are exclusive to the event itself, and the last one being the Endeavor icon which shows all the Endeavors available. If I am to assume this is treated like the Fae crossover event, the first icon will have to do with items you collect within the event, and then using those items to trade for items you'll be using in-game, like warm prints, weapons, upgrade materials, etc. Think of this as a treasure trade from raid events. The second icon will have to do with collecting points per stage to gain rewards per each point threshold. Think of this as the rewards from the facility events. And as I said before, the third icon is the Endeavor icon which shows you every task whether it would be daily, limited, or normal endeavors. Speaking of weapons, the next picture now shows the event exclusive mega weapons. Having that futuristic design while having that Mega Man aesthetic, these weapons will allow all adventurers to fire the Mega Buster, just like the Blue Bomber himself. And the dirt picture depicts a worm print that features Woodman and Bubbleman in their respective stages combined, along with an arrow that points to an icon, which then points to Zodiac, one of the Great Worms. The icon stands for the monster's bane, which means these prints will provide increased damage to a specific dragon. This one giving the player increased damage towards Zodiac. I'll get into more details in a little bit about the print itself, but finally we have even more art and an actual picture of both Mega Man and Yudin standing on the top of the hail bump. Next to that is another worm print, this time featuring both Mega Man without his armor, his sister Roll being the primary focus, Rush behind her with an E-Tank in his mouth, and if you look at the back, right behind Mega Man, we can see the man himself, Dr. Light, next to the window, 
which places the setting of the worm print in Dr. Light's lab. Of course, we heard two music tracks from the new trailer, so we could definitely expect to see and hear more music and art in this upcoming event. Below that is a message that states, Brace for additional challenges available from 10 p.m. Pacific Time on December 1st, 2019. What this means is when an event usually starts, it has a standard difficulty and it's hard difficulty. And it keeps like that for the next few days. Within the next few days, however, the event then introduces a newer difficulty, generally called Nightmare, which is much more difficult than the hard difficulty. Only those who have leveled up and beefed up their units can stand a challenge to this difficulty. When you clear this mode, you are given a daily reward which ranges from Damascus ingots to Sunlight Wars. While you can attempt this as many times as you like, it's only recommended you do this difficulty once a day since the standard rewards does not scale past the hard mode. Before I continue, I'd like to get back to the Woodman Worm Print. If we scroll down to the extra section, you'll see that the same Woodman prints on the top left in much more detail, alongside with three other parts not shown as a print. If you recall correctly, we were told that there will be worm prints that show one big picture when put together. Consider this a tease because the other three will depict each of the other robot masters in the matchup of their stages combined, with each of their part accurately depicting the stage hazards, enemies, and stage layout. Then when you put all four together, you'll be getting one giant matchup of every robot master and their stages in this incredible piece of art. If there's one thing Dragalia Lost always excels at, it's the art. Hopefully we'll be getting these high quality pictures without the filter in front of it very soon, because I'm not gonna lie to you, it looks really good. Getting back to the extras part, we get to the blue box where they're coming soon on it. I'd assume this is where the wallpaper and other media will be located. Underneath that, we'll see a profile card section. You'll be able to make a profile card with your name, level, ID, and your choice of backgrounds and characters. For a limited time, however, you can also have Mega Man, Rush, and the Wily Machine 2 as your character of choice. Mega Man Chaos Protocol will begin on November 28th at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Or for me, it will begin at November 29th at 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now obviously, I'm not going to be streaming at that time because I will be too late and nobody will be able to stay up and watch. So instead, I will be streaming on Shadow Rock's channel at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. From there, I'll let the story play out in Japanese audio, we'll enjoy the story together, play cooperatively in the event itself, and enjoy all of its mega goodness. I hope to see you there. Now to pass it on to Shadowrock. Thank you, TGP. Hey guys, Shadowrock here. I hope you enjoyed TGP's analysis of all the new Dragonia Lost Mega Man crossover information. These are resident Dragonia Lost players, so I knew his commentary would be much more insightful than mine. As for me, I think the artwork on this collaboration looks sick. And they did a great job of translating Mega Man's moveset over to Dragalia Lost. Mega Man 2 bias aside. I also hope you'll tune in for the Dragalia Lost livestream where we will check this all out in person. You may see me there too because I'm awful curious about this crossover. As long as I don't get roped into some last minute Black Friday shopping. Anyway, let's talk about this update on the Mega Man Zero and ZX Legacy Collection key art. The official Mega Man Twitter shared this with the following words. The team behind the Mega Man Zero and ZX Legacy Collection is excited to reveal updated key art that will be featured in-game and on the front of the game's box. Check out a sample image below. Not sure why they bothered to put a sample thing there considering they just gave us the old artwork without the sample. Maybe they'll sit it out on a press release later. But for now, our old Mega Quint has also made a direct comparison between the old and new versions of the key art. From what I can tell, they essentially condense down the proportions of the faces so they aren't as wide, even squishing the eyes and mouths together, as well as adding more shading, shadows, and other details. Objectively, it is an improvement, but what do you think? For me, I was perfectly fine with the old version, but the new one's proportions are better so I can't complain. However, I will say the darkened shadows on Zero and Ben's faces, in my opinion, might be a tad overboard. I almost like the flatter colors on the original better. That's just me though. So which one do you like better, the original or the new one? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and thank you so much for watching today's Mega News Update. I've been Shadowrock, and he's been Die Gameplayer. And for more on the Dragalia Lost Mega Man crossover, Mega Man Zero and ZX Legacy Collection, and other things Mega Man, 
stay tuned to Shadowrock ZX. Until next time, rock on and have a rockastic day. <laughs> <laughs>